Ready? Fire! Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. There's no other town in the world quite like this. All right, I found them. They're right here. Welcome to Mackinac Island. <laughs> oh, Charlie, you're such a good sport. Charlie! <laughs> Morning, Trish. Oh, good morning. I have thank you letters from Camp KYD still. <laughs> I need to go out. Oh my gosh. So yes. Um, yes. So and, we, and have we have phones to return. There's a lot of normal life stuff that needs to get done before we go on this little boat. All right. So I don't think I can go out and turn right, but I can always leave the same way I come in, which is backing out. So I'm going to back out the road and then drive forward. So keep that in mind. Be, make sure you have a spotter. But sometimes sometimes backing is actually the safer thing to do. Plus I like backing. You back here, Trish? Yeah, your jacks are down. Okay, I'm gonna put those down. You have your phone in the rig? All right, so it's 8.06 and we left our site at eight o'clock and we're gonna take the nine o'clock ferry. The Cooper girls are going to meet us at the ferry and Bill and Wendy decided to fly. And mainly because they saw the look of disappointment on my face when they said they were gonna drive. So we're gonna but are you the are you are you, no, are you seriously disappointed that I'm not flying? It'll be fine. <laughs> Because you wanted to see them come in. I wanted to get footage. The only two means of transportation there are horses. And, and I thought it'd be airplanes. fun to fly. And then the other thing is there's no drones allowed on Mackinac Island. So I thought it'd be fun tomorrow before he takes off. Mm -hmm. Maybe like Carson, me and Bill can go up and I can go get footage of the island. Right? Isn't that a it. good idea? Yes. And then I can get my own drone footage from the plane. I... And I could, I could convince Bill to strap a GoPro. So let's make sure I have sticky things. We make a note of that. Okay. So well, I can stick them. Okay. They might be right here. All right. Thanks, Debbie. How are you? Good morning. How are we doing? Great. Got to have you go right down by the cement building up here. Yeah. Hang a right, and there's a driveway pointed right straight out to that road there. Cool. And when you're ready to go, right that's out. great. Now we're leaving Thursday morning. Is that cool? Yep, that's fine. You're good. Not trust that hot Over here we see a wild pack of girls. They're a different species, they truly are. What they're doing right now is laughing, um, doing mysterious stuff, and doing quiet hee hees and whispers. <laughs> Strange. Selfies. Selfies. <laughs> There's water underneath just about every bridge I ever set my feet on. So I'd like to give the benefit of doubt. 
down to those I just can't get a read on Oh, cause when I think I'm doing pretty good Caleb, on your phone If I've told you guys a hundred times, get on your phones Okay, so how did your parking experience go? Okay, parking, Starline, and by the way, we're not working with Starline by any means. We just essentially showed up with an enormous rig and said, where can we put this? <laughs> now I looked at Google Satellite, so I had an idea where we could And park. I called in advance, like I just asked a couple questions, but you know, if you ask questions to one person, but then you arrive and you get somebody else. Yeah, sometimes it's a problem, but they, they could so nice. not have been more accommodating, and they said, just go over to lot seven, put it over there, I'll meet you over there, and give you a ride back. So just know that. When you come in with a big rig, you can just go straight to lot seven, and the shuttle runs through there all the time. And you can boondock the night before, or you can do what we did. Can which they? Oh, they did? You, you they can. did say that, yeah, but we, we wanted to hook up a KOA because we wanted to just flush everything out. Yes. Yeah. Just to let you know, camera crew is ready. Perfect, thank you, nice Romeo. <laughs> okay, one. Oh. What's going on here? We're playing, playing rat card? Slap. Look at rat it. Slap. It's a, Charlie's already asleep. Charlie's already. It was a big he's, day. It was a big day already, Charlie. Big day. He's been on a boat. He said hi to horses. All right, I'm gonna go outside and see if I can get Bill landing. Okay. Nine, sir Romeo. Uh, descending to four thousand. We'll be making right traffic. Direct in runway eight. Any traffic, please advise Mac on. This is great. How was the horse hearing, ride up? Hearing Caleb over the over the headsets was the highlight. <laughs> Wasn't that pretty funny? Yeah. Romeo something. Yeah, nine is nice here, Romeo. Romeo, uh, hey though, uh, Romeo something. Copy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, copy, Roger. 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 <laughs> copy, Roger that. What'd yeah. you think of it? What'd you think, blind pilot? I I had a great time. <laughs> this has been like one of the best experiences already, and we haven't even started. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Isn't oh, this, this awesome? thing and everything, isn't it crazy? Oh, it's fantastic. Even, I mean, even as Michiganders, we love this place. I think this is the perfect opportunity to tell the story of how we even met. Oh, right? yeah. So, this is Fall. the perfect opportunity. So, yeah. okay. who was in Caleb's class? It was Carson's Carson. class. No, Grace. 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 Okay. Grace so, Grace and Carson were in whose Second class? grade. Second grade. Fall 2011. And it was Halloween. And I, that year, because I was in the aviation business then, I dressed up as a blind pilot. My buddy flew for American, or he used to fly for American, and he still had the sports jacket. Wings. And wings. <laughs> and I had a gold tie, and I made a badge, and I had a, like a cane. cane. Shades. <laughs> in, the, in the glasses. And anyway, I went into the class. Can you bring As the blind pilot. Like a week later, subway. I'm in the subway line with both the boys, right? Mm -hmm. And so you turn around and you're like, hey, were you that blind pilot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that was me. And you said, oh, that was so funny. And then some, and I had my uh, aviation sweatshirt on or something, oh, yeah. or some kind of vest that people used to make fun of me from. Yeah. And you said, oh, my husband flies and he's got a Cirrus. And then we got to talking. And then you said to her, why aren't we hanging out? 
yeah anyway so the we became final friends. touch was meeting trish a couple weeks later when we took the kids up to the on another field trip yes. up to the library to the library card and we're chit chatting and it was like oh my gosh i think i met my best friend anyhow so we became friends and then they moved they were in uh the coopers were in arizona for like four years and then they came back to michigan and here we are, Mackinac <laughs> Island, like seven years later. Exactly. Well done. Your new nickname is Butta. You just butted it on. <laughs> All right, so Bill, a lot of people, there are a lot of pilots that follow KYD. Yeah. And I know a lot of people have written in because they've got Cessnas and Cirruses and whatnot. So if anyone was were to be flying in the Mackinac, what do they need to know? Uh, you want to make sure it's good weather because there's not a real good approach coming in. Okay. Um, the runway's not real long, so Cirrus is no problem. But if you're going to be flying with, you told us that there was a Falcon 900 landed here. They are, but they they don't come in full fuel. They don't come in fully loaded. Usually, it's two people on it. I mean, you got to you got to be careful with that because you, you got limited length. It's 3,800 feet, I believe. Good. Welcome to land. Other than that. Don't get distracted by all the beauty around here because you come over that bridge and that, that bridge is it's pretty amazing. impressive, yeah. isn't it? It was impressive by boat. I can yeah. only imagine my plane. I mean, I think it's actually bigger than, or at least longer than the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, yeah. And um, and so you're coming in, you're looking at that, you're looking at the island, but now, I mean, it's really a pretty easy place to land. All right, well, there you have it. And it's, it's just interesting to me that you can't, you can't drive a moped on the island. You know, mm -hmm. you can't drive a car on the island, but you can fly onto the island. That's really cool. It is. Yeah. Okay, what were you gonna say? Um, okay, so I pretty much love doing everything with our family together. Absolutely love it. There are two things that I do not like doing together. One is moving furniture. Well, that, you, don't, you don't like to do that with your husband? Anybody. Okay. Don't like moving furniture. And um, I don't like riding tandem bikes. <laughs> well, I did it in Alaska, and I said I'm not doing that anymore. There's way too much drama. You know what? Out of all, there's only two things that's pretty good. <laughs> so. No, the boys were already, tandem bike, tandem bike, tandem bike. I'm like, I don't even want to hear the drama Wait. about a tandem bike. Don't want to hear it. Cool. Dad, let's, let's <laughs> rent a tandem bike together. <laughs> you look like like the kid from like an 80s movie. He looks like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> let's rent a tandem bike together. So, yeah, wouldn't you go in front? Well, he wants to record. I'm not entirely sure that is a good idea. It is, Dad. Let's just do it. I don't think you don't it's a good idea. You have to idea. record. I have to record. Well, I know, but if I have a bike, I can stop and I can do what I want. I'm just going to be talking to Carson the whole time. It's just going to be fun. Come on. <laughs> what are you guys thinking with your with your tandem? Do you have a plan? Do you have well, a, we're about to find out. Do you have a communication strategy? No, we don't. We're, you're steering, so where are you going? Where are you going? Oh gosh, you're gonna do a tandem too? Ready? Okay, there's I'm horses, so there's horses. We have to wait, we have to wait. There's horses coming. Might want this, to... Oh, wait for the horses. This episode might be called Tandem t Tantrums. <laughs> Los caballos. Tandem. What is your plan, girls, for like how you're gonna communicate with we each other? We are gonna be the dream team. We're just gonna communicate with each other. We're gonna be communicating yeah. the whole time. Let's go. Okay, ready, Grace? Go, go. All right, Three. this is great. Okay, we're gonna go over the hump. Okay, you're literally... <laughs> 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 okay, back up. I'm kind of scared. Okay, that was our first mistake. Okay, go. Oh, you're right. Bryson! Woo! Oh. Oh. Hi. Oh, that's great. Charlie, you're going to love this. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I'm trailering even when we're not trailering. <laughs> you really are. Charlie looks quite content back there. I think he's happy now that we're moving. He's really happy. He's smiling like no other dog in the world. We're gonna stop up here at Arch Rock. We're gonna look up at it. We probably could come back tomorrow and look at it from the top. You know, you climb up the top and see it from down. Or we can walk up the steps right now. And then we're gonna take a loop around the island just because I need to keep moving. Keep that exercise going? Yeah, I'll keep it going. It doesn't really count if you stop every 30 seconds. Tired, how much longer? When do we get to the fried pickles? My great grandfather, along with several people from his village in Western Ireland, came here. They're still here. They came directly to the island? Yes. Ireland. Okay. Fishing industry. Oh, yeah. Fishing and cooperage. Yeah. And my great grandfather was among them. And my grandfather was born on the island and became the island doctor. 
Yeah. Have you seen the cannon yeah. yet? We're lighting it on Wednesday. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. Uh, good. <laughs> good. 9 a.m. Sure. <laughs> sure. I mean, and the British showed up in 1812. Okay. Right over there. Yeah. The British landing. The Ojibwa Indians, native peoples, were here from time immemorial. Mm -hmm. The French showed up in the 1600s. The English showed up in the 1700s. The Irish showed up in the 1800s. Do you, yeah, but do you live on the island year-round? Nah, I'm not that tough. Yeah. I, 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 I've spent chunks of winters here. It's beautiful. And now we drove all the way around, did a little swim. Charlie went swimming all the way around. Wow, we've covered a lot all of ground. Around. We are now at British Landing, where the infamous Mackinac must have deep fried pickle is. We just okay. got deep fried pickles. Okay. And now we're going to go slightly up the road in the perimeter of the island to this road called Forest Avenue whereby we're gonna get off of our bikes what? check them up the hill because it's very steep for any oh. anybody to carry a dog behind them mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go up to this place called the woods it's by the airport and it's this little cute little um what do you call it it's a bowling alley a single alley bowling alley with bowling balls this big that was perfect. <laughs> there we go. Oh, how is that not straight? Is this the neatest pub you've ever been in? Awesome. Yeah, that's great. Cheers. Made from our friend here from Jamaica. Oh yeah? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Found like, this. It's a hidden treasure. Hidden treasure of Mackinac Island. And we come here, every time we come to Mackinac, and it's, it's never busy. We always get right in on the alley. What, like, what's the plan? What just happened? The, the kids just rode off? The kids are gone. It's a yeah. little bit of independence for the they teenagers. They rode off? Yes. And what are we doing? We are going to go to the Cupola Bar at the Grand Hotel after we get all prettied up. Now, the Cupola Bar, in the evening, doesn't require us to be uh, in a jacket. Casual. Casual. Attire. How casual? Yeah. Like just collared shirts. Don't Don't Here we go. <laughs> really gotta work for your cocktails around here. <laughs> Okay, welcome to the rooftop at the Grand Hotel. We are indulging in a little champagne. But if you've ever watched Somewhere in Time, you have to come to this very location. And it doesn't matter what you're wearing because you do not need the fancy attire. Come as you are, have a drink, and then go hit the town because that's what we're gonna do tonight. You're like a natural. <laughs> she just did that. She, she didn't have cue cards. No, no, one, uh, she didn't, one, she one take trick. One, one take, take trick. <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> You just fire, you, that camera light went on and she was game on. <laughs> <laughs> Jonesin for some uh, Traverse, Traverse City this fudge. This is a good friend right here. He's Traverse City, for your favorite cherry ice cream. chocolate fudge, whatever it's called. Yeah. yeah. I had some ice cream near Spring Lake in Muskegon. At, what's that ice cream place called? Don's or something. Okay. And it's Traverse City cherry fudge. Traverse City, Traverse City like fudge. That's kind of the keywords. Traverse all right. City ice cream, but it's like cherry with fudge. Yeah. Oh, what's the verdict? They don't have it. There's another place right down here. It'd be open, <laughs> otherwise, I think it's Cherry's Mubali, which okay. has fudge and cherries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's essentially the same. It is essentially the same, but we're really close to this place over here. I think we should at least check it out. We should check it out. We have close. our bikes. Yeah, we're not in a hurry. Bikes. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. 
Good morning from Mackinac Island, day two. Rise and shine. Trish and I went out for an early morning walk just to see what the island would be like first thing in the morning, and it's pretty nice. <laughs> the bikes aren't up yet. The tourists haven't arrived on the boat. It's quiet, and it was fun just to hear the sounds of the island, wasn't it? Yes, click clack from the horses. Oh, yeah, that's right. Wendy, you have the itinerary for today. What is it? We are going to go to the center of the island and visit the Holmes Fort. The fort was rebuilt, but it is exact re replica. Um, and then we're just going to meander around and end up going down to watch and fudge being made after. Well, that sounds like a good day. Yeah. Okay. It's the uh, Mackinac must haves. What'd you guys learn? It makes it sound oh. This whole thing was reconstructed. And they made it sound like the War of 1812 started right here. Garrison surrendered, beginning the War of 1812 in the Great Plains. It actually did say. I've done 12,000 miles in the last 16 months. Wow. I'm doing the lower 48 states for suicide awareness. Right on. Awesome. Uh, so this is state number 26. We got a picture of you. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what. Tell me more about the project. So uh, I own a nonprofit called the One Pedal at a Time Movement. Okay. Uh, it promotes bicycling while raising suicide awareness. Uh huh. And um, the bicycle saved my life. I was. I did three suicide attempts. I was planning my fourth when I got on a bicycle. And I'm a veteran, so I started mapping out where all my veteran friends lived that yeah. I served with. Yeah. Uh, it was 30 states. To get to those, it was 42 states. People were like, you might as well do the other six. So I'm doing 25,000 miles for three years, uh, which breaks down to 22 miles a day, which is my dedication to uh, veterans that lose their lives every day. Right on. And um, so, yeah, I've been on the road now for 16 months, done 12,000 miles in 26, 26 states out of 48. And uh, bicycle changed my life. I started a nonprofit. Uh, to help other people and I do motivational speeches so that people uh, know they're not alone and that they're not suffering by themselves and that it's okay to talk about it and it's even more important for people to listen. That's fantastic. So if, if someone, do uh, you take donations and things? Yeah. So, so if someone my, wanted to, what, like do you have a website? It's uh, RideWithDanUSA.com um, and my nonprofit is uh, One Pedal at a Time Movement. Uh, okay. The website's OPAT, O-P-A-A-T, movement.com. Right on. Thank you very much. Yeah, so, so you know, part of my journey because I'm doing it for suicide awareness, I'm actually doing it with no savings, so I can show people that are dealing with financial struggles or daily struggles that we can survive anything with nothing. Yeah. And uh, I'm proof in 16 months that we that there are still a lot of good people in the world, even though between news media and social media, oh. we tend to forget that. Uh, even me, when I started this, I honestly didn't think that there was still a lot of good people left in the world and that I was gonna struggle, and it's been the total opposite. You get on the road and you start meeting people and you realize what, what this country is really made of. Exactly. Well, between that and, uh, so I found faith in humanity on this trip so far and uh, I found faith in God too, which helped a lot. Well, yeah, good for you. Thanks for your service and well, your right. dedication. What, what, what branch were you in? I was in the Navy. Right here. I've been following yeah. this channel for years. What's that? I've been following this channel and, for years. Oh, that's crazy. And, and you're hosting Dan. Yeah, that's I'm hosting so him. Dude, that's See? crazy. <laughs> that's what happened for a reason. <laughs> it's great to meet you, Lieutenant Dan, and good to meet you too. Good to meet you. Yeah, thank awesome. you. This gives new meaning to food TV. Yeah. I wish it was smell a vision I wish you could just come and have fudge a Fudge does have a very unique smell, doesn't it's it? It's very unique. I feel like I'm at your mom's house on Thanksgiving. She does she make good fudge. Really good fudge. Who are you chatting with? I was chatting with people, subscribers. Yeah. Yes, and they were so kind and so wonderful. And they're here for the day, and they're just enjoying themselves. So it was very fun. I'm gonna clean it up here, and I'll have some samples ready for you guys. Fantastic. Cool, thank you. I'm a kid in a candy shop here. How is it? It is so good. Is it? So this has peanut butter in it, chocolate and peanut butter, which makes it set up almost two times as fast. So we had to work like a machine here to get it all beautiful. Wasn't easy to record either, babe. I know. 
I have two minutes. To return the bike? You're making him return the bike? Yeah. <laughs> I let him ride with me so he would return Take it. your time. <laughs> He's sense. so nice. Look at him. Take your time. Step on it. Look at it. How was it riding with Caleb? I didn't see it. It was rough. <laughs> it actually was. was it? <laughs> he was wobbling it around and he ran right through horse poop and it tracked up the back and it got all over the road then because he like squished it. It was disgusting. And then if you're running a bike and there's any chance of rain during your stay, which is highly likely, oh, really. We're at Mackin Island. So yeah. It's about a 50-50 shot. Sure. And if there's any chance at all of rain, oh, highly recommend rent bikes with fenders. Because can you can you can't really cuss or swear on your podcast? No, but you're you're creative. Okay, well, if you do not rent fenders and you get caught in the rain or there's any rain or there's rain two hours ago or anything and the roads are wet, there are horses throughout this island that urinate and defecate on the roads. <laughs> See, and you will have creative. a stripe up your back that you will not like, and you might even have to use you might just want to dispose of the clothes when you're done with them. You ready to fly? Um, fly right now? Yeah, we're yeah, gonna go fly. Okay. Let's go. Oh, you exactly. ready? Yeah, I'm ready. PC 12. PC 12. It's not lift juice? <laughs> it gives you a little more lift. Carson flew. You flew? Yeah. Were you, you co-pilot or you actually? No, he's a, co you can fly from either side. He was oh. flying from the, pi the co-pilot seat. Yeah. But he was nice. turning and stay, keeping altitude wow. and oh, just he rocks. Yeah, he was flying. I mean, rocks. the biggest issue was me not being able to let go because <laughs> saying, "Take my plane, young man." You know, <laughs> it was hard for me to do that. But no, he was flying the plane. <laughs> Next Fourth of July. Why, Maggie? It's gonna be something. <laughs> Don't fall on me. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. <laughs> Bye. All right. What are we doing now? Well, I don't know. We're going to have to go do something fun because it's a bummer when your friends leave. Yeah. The coolest part about good friends is that it doesn't matter how much time goes by. You just jump in. Yeah, you can pick up right where you left off. Yeah. For the most scenic horse carriage ride, you want to take the West Block route. To the airport. Amazing. From the airport, and then you come up the back side of the Grand. It is so gorgeous. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? Great. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Are you ready? We're ready. Got all of our stuff? I'll yep. take Charlie. You got Charlie ready? And here's the best package of all. It's Charlie. Is he ready to go? He's ready to go. You got his bag? Yeah, he's ready, ready to go. go. We're all checked out. I checked out on the front. Good. You know, we're staying at the mission because they allow Charlie. 
Yes. And it's a nice resort. It really is. It's it's great. Well, there are less expensive options. This is really clean, fresh, new. It was nice because nice. we had the family suite, so all of us had beds, and that was kind of nice. And we were definitely treating this like our like summer trip, uh -huh. vacation. Okay, but there's bed and breakfasts all along yeah. the thing. So check that out. Okay, look, boy, hold on. Place that has breakfast included. Yes. So you don't have to spend money on breakfast. Yeah. Maybe. There's a few more things we want to share with you as we wrap up this episode on our way to the ferry going back. So let's kick it and we'll, we'll share some ideas as we go. First of all, cell phone coverage on the island, pretty, pretty hit or miss. So, I mean, it works to make phone calls and things like that. But data, LTE data, pretty hard. But that was kind of part of the thing that made it so cool is that like you weren't, we, we weren't on Instagram and Facebook and all that type of stuff. It kind of adds to the vacation. Not having access to a car and not being on the internet all the time adds to the experience we felt. Okay, let's talk about transportation. That awesome horse carriage <laughs> yeah. is about $5.50 per person from the mission back over to the ferry. It's about $7 from the middle of town over to the airport. That's per person. And then, you know, throw a little tip on top of that. So what else do we say Let's talk about, about bikes. If you can get access to a bike, even for a little bit, that's the best way, in our opinion, to explore the island. You can go all the way around the island like we did. Mm -hmm. You could do it hourly for like 10 to $13 an hour, mm -hmm. or we did the 24 hour rental, which got a little pricey, but we were with the group and that was just the best way. So we all could be independent and do all that but stuff. A but the minute you get off, if you can ride a bike, then rent a bike and go around the lake and it will make your fudge purchase so much better. <laughs> That's right. Wait, there's one other thing. Oh, there is a tour that yeah. you can get right across in the ferry boat and it looked a little it's touristy a for us, tour. but I'll tell you, sometimes it's great to do a tour right out of the gate and learn about the island and the governor's mansion and have someone show you all this stuff. We, we stayed away from the touristy stuff on this trip, but that is an option. That's only because we had our own personal tour guide mm -hmm. with the Coopers. That's a good point. Yeah. In fact, I want to talk about that. I feel like our experience here was amplified because we were with our friends, we were on vacation, we didn't do any of the touristy stuff, and we were totally ready to just chill. I, wasn't, I was away from my computer for three days, I was hardly on my phone. So I don't want to, I guess what I'm saying is I don't want to oversell Mackinac Island, but we did have a great experience. I even told Bill that this was like one of our top five experiences since we started the channel. So you could get off of the boat and you can go into town and you could go down Main Street and do all the touristy stuff and think that maybe this is just a tourist attraction, but there are things to do beyond just all the touristy stuff like we did, riding the bikes and going up to the airport, going into the, the woods up in the middle of the island. There's all sorts of stuff to do like that. So you can kind of make it your own trip. You don't have to do all the stuff that, you know, all the touristy stuff. top of the rig. Why? Because the next episode, next Sunday, is the Upper Peninsula. And it's going to open with going across the bridge with this footage. Are you going to become a youper? Yeah, we're all going to be youpers for a week. 70% battery, I think that'll do it. As long as this thing doesn't shut off by accident. Alright, we'll see you next Sunday. Bye.